Surah 175, there are certain words that Aradia hath given us that hold the key of all power. He who uses the words in a sacred way shall benefit from them, but he who misuses these words, they shall do just the opposite of their intent. Therefore, let all those who use the words use them in a sacred manner, to let thyself or others to be healed, Balabeth, to stop a storm, lived Ulodlived, to put a wall up against evil forces, Balod Bethsomived, to remove suffering, Yelodelived Labod, to assure a good crop, Labomo Lezobal, to bring peace of mind, Livedom Labeth Amamurom, to bring love unto your life, Labomur Bezle El Durbiom, to reinforce your god power, El Ived Burom Labal di Urom Ived, to end draft upon the land, Omo Dilbur Omil Ived Omer Eth Labia, Sura 176, to the land of Amoria, these were the tribes who settled the land, Taza, the star people, Zuni, the city dwellers, Hopi, the sky people, Machor, the mud dwellers, Shonisho, the people of the north, Ungo, the water people, Ojipwaha, the wandering people, Ojipwe, the little water people, Omishka, the tree people, Shumo, the growers, Navawe, the tillers, Pawe, the builders, Omakia, the warriors, Irgorisa, little river people, Snomomishkak, the swamp dwellers, Omishkapa, the peacemakers, Agapa, the discoverers, Opachkapa, the basket makers, Lakota, the friendly people, Opa, the mountain climbers, Nishpeke, the underground people, Yuli, the old ones, Wayankia, the lonely ones, Snotuche, the mystery people, Yoho, the never changing ones, Nevia, the lone ones, Mihenia, the forward ones, Ojipiwa, the war makers, Pothuchewa, the herders, Pujiwa, the helpful ones, Ojiwa, the seekers, Tomatawa, the hill dwellers, Hotatils, the cliff dwellers, and Hoshetua, the boat builders. These tribes settled the lands from sea to sea, in every mountain and every valley. For all of these people together did they number two million and one hundred, the largest being the Zuni and Maka. Surah 177, there were places upon Amuria that were sacred, and no one was to dwell there, for these places were set aside as places to worship the greater spirits. Amongst the places were Omishnish, Yanku Monok, Hopodok, Ishwagish, Hauyaishpate, Gogichaiwa, Nachdishwe, Nayotnia, Mahnishwe, Gopa, Yohoka, and Dwevakwe. For these places were decreed by the high priest of each tribe as the sacred places of all eons to time and declared to go to war to protect these sacred places. Some of these sacred places were holes in the earth. Some were lakes, mountains, fire-breathing mountains, valleys, rivers, and barren places. Their areas were known by all and passed from one generation to the next and to be passed on until the end of time. The Amorians, Hopi and Zuni, Surah 178. The Amorians came from Aden with Yohod, and there dwelled in the land of Amorea, which was the land of great waters, for the Amorians were fishermen and boat builders. The first settlers of the Amorians were the Nishbitwells of Eris on the planet Bela in the Ifs galaxy. The first settlers of Eris were the Oshibwa of the Thema galaxy, who were space explorers from whom had not settled on any planets in eons of time. The first Amorian of all was Oishe of Zeris in the beginning of time, for he was the second man in all creation and this time was of 10 trillion Erga Erts of Earth time, even 5 million Hergetzergs before Earth's creation. The Amorians and the Givians are the oldest of all people in all the universe, and the oldest of the tribes are the Hopi and the Zuni, who are as old as the beginning of time, and all of man was 100 years old when the Hopi thus became the first tribe of people in all the universe. When 200 years had passed, the Zuni became the second tribes. Thus from these two tribes did all mankind spring. The planet which they dwelled upon was thus the blue star of Ojihiwa. Surah 179. When all mankind is thus destroyed, only the Hopi and the Zuni will be left, for it is Aradia's perfect plan, for these are the perfect people whom Aradia has given his power in the beginning of time, and who shall always hold this power which they shall have the power to move mountains by thought alone, to heal the sick and afflicted ones, to make rain fall upon barren places, to drive out evil spirits, to make trees grow and bear fruit and have all manner of great power, greater than anyone else in all the cosmos. For these are the people of the Creator, the first people, the sacred ones, for they hold the keys of the universe. The door of Akea lay amongst their lot, for these are the people who sit upon the right hand of the Creator. Glory be to these people. If you want to hold the Creator's hand, hold their hand, for they are only next to the Creator. These people know of all things from the beginning of time, Surah 180, for here is the language of Zeris, omitted, found in book. For this was the language at the beginning of time, 
for the word seen here is the oldest message in all the cosmos. It was written upon stone in the cave of Ojiwa to the gods of the grounds thus, Oxjiwa Pajiwade Nimishpe Watuwaishpakak, Nayishwaishime or Shewekai Opahwashanuapai, Shewishewapaika Apahwadeshe. O great gods that dwell in the ground and upon Opa, grant us warmth, grant us food, grant us drink, grant us many children, grant us peace of mind, for we are your children, and we came out of your womb, thus we will return. Sura 181, for these are all the things for which Aradia hath instructed for us to tell you, and it is for you to spread the truth of all things to all of the earth, for this to become the permanent record, now and forever, for you will now, this is the words of the Creator, for this very book shall become sacred and be protected by the Creator Himself and all of those who process it in the name of all that is good. Surah 182, glory to the ages, glory to Aradia's creations, glory to mankind, glory to all the cosmos, glory to those that process this book for Aradia is with them, glory, glory, glory. It is finished, so saith the Creator. The Q.R. Beth is written in the original Lemurian language. If during interpretation, other than being interpreted by the Madonna Masters, it is misunderstood, that was never the intention or goal of myself or Apsaras. All that is written here was transcribed by Apsaras, persons with him, myself and persons with me. We have written them on stone, papyrus, bark, sheaves of leather and clay tablets. When this work is finished, it will be turned over to the Madonna Masters for safekeeping. I tell you these things in accordance with the instructions given me by Apsaras I, our founder and first holy proctor. I am 150 years old and have but a few years before my mission is complete. Hittian temples have been built on the islands of the great Lati Sea since I have become proctor. There are somewhere around four or five million Hittians worldwide, even in Amuria. At this time there are nine matriarchs, nine patriarchs, 27 caliphs, 200 archbishops, 500 bishops, 10,000 moshkas and the rest of the lower priesthood. We have a titan army of 950,000. We are the most respected and greatest religion upon the earth, and most of the followers are Lemurian, Hatti and Nishabad. Two-thirds of all of Madana are followers, one-third of Gaul. Only Magog and Inferds have not accepted our faith. Every other nation has accepted it readily. We have a strong opposition starting to fight us, but for now we are in power, and we shall not even be known yet in a great future time, or will there be any kind of history about us, because our comings and goings are secret. But now we are in power, and we are at peace. Farewell to the ages. Farewell to all of those I write for, Beloma the First. Beloma the First died 34 years later, at the ripe old age of 189. Beloma the Second then became Proctor. So ends the Q. Arabeth.